on everybody welcome to yet another episode of superpower review today we have a very exciting show because today we're going to be doing a review on this beautiful marvel now statue by kotobukiya yes as you can see it is venom on a previous episode we did a episode on my buddy carnage here so let's uh let's get into venom shall we so before we get into the actual statue Let's talk about the box first. Let's just get the box out of the way. Uh, nothing really too much different about the box than the Carnage one. Um, here we go. Here it is. This is the nice box. This is the front of it. Uh, got a nice picture of the product. Uh, you can't see it from the video, uh, but there are some like images of Venom in the background in purple. Uh, this is the side. We get some. Uh, we, we get the what appears to be what the stand is just like, this, some kind of eyes, whatever. And then we have the artwork done by Stefano Caselli. Uh, this is what, the, what they did the figure off of, this, uh, off of the artwork. And then we got some more of the back here. Again, the artwork done by Stefano Caselli. And then the actual figure is done by Junosuke Abe. Try to say that ten times first, and then the back is uh, the the bottom is just nothing but Japanese. So let's get into the statue, shall we? <laughs> Here's the statue. As you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. Now remember, you do have to do some assembly when you open this figure up. It's not really hard. You just have to put his arms on and his head on, and that is about it. But he is sculpted so nicely. Uh, don't you love that stance? He's, he's in this uh, very aggressive stance, ready to pounce on you. Very different th from a statue. Most statues are standing, but he's kind of crouched down. Very nice. Nice paint apps to this. Uh, Kotobukiya does an absolute amazing job making these statues. I absolutely love these statues, and I think it's time to get a Spider-Man one to, to go with the collection now that I have Carnage and Venom. As you can see, Venom, as always, is, is super bulky, super muscular. Um, on the bottom here, we have his stand. Uh, not, too, um, not too much of, of a fan of the stand. It's just pretty much his eyes. Uh, if we were going to do a stand, I'd I, I much rather see the actual um, Venom spider. I think that would have been a better choice other besides the eyes. But nice metal stand just like carnage okay and then on the bottom of venom we have magnets um, so we have three magnets here uh, one on the hand two on the feet and if you watched my previous episode on carnage uh, we only had one magnet on carnage in this little stand so we have an abundance of magnets here and then we only have a minimal amount of magnets on carnage um, so you can display Venom any way you want. You can put, you know, hand and foot on the stand, or you can put both feet on the stand. So you can kind of position him in different ways. Uh, but absolutely beautiful sculpt. Uh, love the tongue. Uh, again, you don't have to really be too careful with these tendrils. Uh, these little plastic pieces, they, they do have a slight move to them. Uh, they won't break unless you're really pulling them and twisting them, so nothing's really going to happen to them. These, these statues are very, very durable. Um, they, are, they are on the pricey side, but, I mean, look, look at the beautiful sculpt you're getting out of these statues. You, they're really nice. I, I, I was really lucky to find this at Rhode Island Comic Con this weekend. Uh, I wasn't expecting to find one, and I wasn't really looking for one, but I know this... Statue has recently come out in Japan. Um, I haven't seen any of these stores carrying them, so seeing this at Rhode Island Comic Con was definitely a good surprise. And it was the only one there, so I had to, I had to grab it. Um, uh, you can find this online or in stores for about seventy to sixty dollars. Um, not too bad. What I paid eighty dollars for Carnage. And, um, yeah, let's get the two of them together. And I don't really see why Carnage would be more expensive. Uh, to be quite honest, Venom is bigger than Carnage, so you're getting more product. Um, and I feel like he's, he's a little more equipped than Carnage. Like, again, with the magnets, more equipped with the magnets. 
Uh, he's bigger, so, so therefore the company Kotobuki is using more product to make the statue. So I really don't know why Carnage would be more expensive than Venom. Not really sure. But this is what I'm going to have to say. Um, for, for my rating for Venom, I'm definitely going to have to give Venom the same grade as I did with Carnage, which would be a 9.6. And I'm going to tell you why, again, why it's not a 9.8 in my opinion. The reason why I'm not giving it a 9.8 is because of the stand. It's just his eyes, and I don't really care. And yet again, I'd rather see the actual Venom spider on the metal thing. I think it would have been a little bit better than just to have his eyes. I mean, it may, maybe to even have his little, you know, little teeth over here. Maybe I don't know. Then maybe it looks. It's going to look too much like uh, the cat from uh, Alice in Wonderland. Who knows? I don't know the treasure cat, right? <laughs> but uh, these 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 uh, statues are really good. Uh, I absolutely love what Kotobuki is doing with these Marvel statues. Uh, Marvel now is definitely a great piece to pick up. I would totally buy these 100%. I give these a great review. Um, even um, if I can just point out too, um, on Venom, as you can tell, his, uh, his logo goes up on his shoulders, the spider. And I, th I think this was a good idea to do uh, because you know why? Usually Venom's uh, logo goes off to the sides, and since he is such in a low stance and you see most of his shoulders, it's kind of nice to see the logo on the shoulders as well. Just wanted to point that out real quick. But absolutely love these statues. You can't go wrong with Kotobukiya RFX Plus statues. Uh, they're really nice, and look how good these two look together, right? Uh, I, I really feel like a Spider-Man is now missing, and I really need a Spider-Man here. Uh, two great villains. Uh, you know how much I love the symbiotes. I, I love Venom, and I love Carnage. I love anything with the symbiotes. It, it was a great time for, for the Spider-Man comic books. But this was the pickup for Rhode Island Com, uh, Comic Con. It was the best pickup there was, and uh, I can't complain. Uh, so I think that's going to wrap it up for this uh, issue of Superpower Review. Make sure you pick up your Venom Artifacts Plus by Kotobukiya. Uh, you can't really go wrong with it. It's a great statue and it is sick. It's definitely going to stay in the collection. So that's going to do it for this episode of Superpower Review. I hope to see you guys really soon.